Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about the project, which is automated road damage detection using UAV images and deep learning techniques. Introduction of the project. The economic development of a country is closely tied to the quality and maintenance of its road infrastructure. Regular assessments of road conditions are crucial for ensuring longevity and safety. Traditionally, manual methods involving state or private agencies using sensor-equipped vehicles have been employed, but these are often time-consuming, expensive, and pose risk to human operators. To address the limitations of manual road inspections, researchers and engineers have turned to unmanned aerial vehicles and artificial intelligence technologies. UAVs equipped with high-resolution cameras and sensors offer a comprehensive view of road conditions, capturing images from multiple angles quickly. The current manual road inspection process in countries like Spain incur high cost due to the labor and specialized equipment requirements. In countries like China, with extensive road networks, timely detection of surface attacks and damage is crucial to prevent accelerated deterioration and ensure vehicle safety. The lack of automated techniques for detecting road defects can lead to financial losses and increased risk of accidents. The project involves a comparative analysis of three YOLO algorithms in terms of their precision and efficiency in identifying road damage in UAV images. The project utilizes RDD2022 road damage dataset, which is publicly available on the internet, to manage computational resources effectively, and then we use images from the dataset for training the algorithms. Objective of the project. The primary objective of the project is to develop an automated system for detecting road damage using unmanned aerial vehicle images and advanced deep learning techniques. The project aims to significantly improve the efficiency and accuracy of road damage detection by leveraging UAVs and artificial intelligence technologies, mitigating the labor-intensive and unsafe aspects of manual data collection. The project focuses on evaluating and comparing three algorithms, which are YOLO v5, YOLO v7, and YOLO v8, for object detection and localization in UAV images. The goal is to identify the most effective algorithm for the proposed automated road damage detection system. Utilizing a combination of RDD2022 dataset from China and a Spanish road dataset, the project aims to train and test the algorithms comprehensively. This involves incorporating diverse data sources to enhance the model's adaptability to different road conditions. The project's final objective is to assess the performance of the proposed approach measured by accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 scores for each algorithm. The successful demonstration of efficiency with notable scores lay the foundation for future research in integration of UAVs and deep learning for automated road damage detection. To implement this project, we need software and hardware requirements. Coming to hardware requirements, we need operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Coming to software requirements, we need application of Anaconda, primary language of Python, front-end technologies of Flask, back-end framework of Jupyter Notebook, database of SQLite 3, front-end technologies of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. To implement the project, we have designed various steps in the flow of work. The first step is importing the packages. In this step, necessary libraries and packages are imported into the project environment. We have imported NumPy for numerical operations, TensorFlow and Keras for deep learning, Pandas for data manipulation, Flask for web development, OpenCV for image processing. Here, coming to the next step, which is exploring the dataset, we have read the images, which is loading images from the dataset to be used for model training and testing. We also plotted the image, which is visualizing images to get an overview of the dataset. Coming to the next step, which is image processing, this step involves preparing the images for training and testing. Here, we have sub steps which is defining the classes. It is specifying the classes or objects that the model will learn to detect. Declaring the bounding box. It is identifying and defining the bounding box coordinates around the objects. Converting array to NumPy array. Here, converting image data into a format that is suitable for machine learning, often using NumPy arrays. Normalizing. It is scaling pixel values to a standard range, often between 0 and 1, to facilitate model training. Coming to shuffling, which is randomizing the order of the images to ensure the model generalizes well. The next step is splitting the data into training and testing. Here we divide the data set into two sets, one for training the machine learning model and other for testing its performance. 
building the model. Here we develop the neural network model architecture. This includes defining the layers, activation functions, and any other relevant parameters. Training the model. Here we use the training data set to tease the model to recognize patterns and features in the images. This involves an iterative process where the model adjusts its parameters to minimize the difference between predicted and actual outputs. The next step is Flask framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. Here we implemented a web framework called Flask to handle user authentication and authorization. SQLite is used as a lightweight database to store user information securely. The next step is user gives input as image. Here we allow users to input images into the system for processing. The next step is pre-processing and detection. Pre-processing the user input image using similar techniques as in the earlier steps. The pre-trained model is used to detect objects in the image. Object segmentation and bounding boxes. After detection, the identified objects are segmented and bounding boxes are drawn around them. This step visually represents the recognized objects in the image. The last step is final outcome is display. Displaying the processed image with the detected objects and bounding boxes to the user. This serves as a final outcome of the project, showcasing model's ability to identify and localize objects in the user-provided images. First, we will know what are the algorithms used in the project. The first algorithm is YOLO v5. First, we will know what is YOLO. YOLO refers to you only look once. YOLO is an object detection algorithm that stands out for its speed and efficiency. It divides an image into a grid and predicts bounding boxes and class probabilities for each grid cell. YOLO processes the entire image in one forward pass, making it faster than many other object detection algorithms. Now we will know what is YOLO v5. YOLO v5 is an evolution of the YOLO algorithm and represents the fifth version of the model. YOLO v5 is built on new spade, which is called spatially adaptive denormalization architecture, which uses semantic and spatial information to enhance object detection accuracy. It introduces a new training algorithm called mosaic data augmentation, which helps in improving the model generalization. YOLO v5 has gained popularity for its improved performance and flexibility, making suitable for a wide range of applications. The next algorithm is YOLO v7. YOLO v7 is a popular object detection model in computer vision, known for its speed and accuracy in real-time detection of objects in images and videos. It uses a deep neural network to predict the bounding boxes and class probabilities for objects in an input image or the video frame. YOLO v7 is an extension of YOLO v5 and YOLO v6 architecture, which itself was an improvement over previous versions of the YOLO model, with added features such as dynamic scaling, anchor-free object detection, and improved loss functions. YOLO v7 has been widely used in a range of applications including self-driving cars, facial recognition, and object detection in security systems. All the YOLO v5 and YOLO v7 algorithms chosen for their efficiency in real-time object detection enabling rapid identification of road damage in images captured by UAVs. As an extension, we employed other YOLO versions and other ensemble models combining the prediction of multiple individual models to produce a more robust and accurate final prediction. Also as an extension, we have used Flask framework for user testing with user authentication. To evaluate this project, we have used accuracy, precision, recall, and FN score, which are the performance metrics. Here we have evaluated all the algorithms built in the project. So here we have performance comparison graphs for all the algorithms built in the project. This is the accuracy comparison graph where x-axis represents accuracy score and y-axis represents algorithm names. Similarly, we will have four other graphs also. Coming to the accuracy, it is the measure of the overall correctness of the model. It calculates the ratio of correctly predicted instances to the total number of instances. This is precision score comparison graph. Precision is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to the total predicted positives. It evaluates the accuracy of positive predictions. This is the recall comparison graph. Recall is also known as sensitivity or true positive rate. Recall measures the ability of the model to capture all relevant instances. It is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to the total actual positives. This is FN score comparison graph. FN score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. It provides a balance between precision and recall, especially when there is an imbalance in the class distribution. The algorithm which performs well among all these metrics will be used for final prediction. To execute the project, first we need to open the code folder, which contains source code files. This is the code folder of the project. This is the data set folder. In which we have the data, we use the data for training the algorithms. This is the static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap files. 
This is the templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is the app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content that to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is the model folder in which we have the algorithm information and that will be loaded into the project code during runtime. This is the signup file. This file is a database file which is used for storing the user information. And this is the IPYNB file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contain a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for the data science. Now we need to copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. So I'm copying the path. Now we need to open the Anaconda prompt. Using the CD command followed by the space, we need to paste the copied path and then click on enter. This will change current directory to the code folders path. Here we need to type the command python space app.py to compile app.py file. And now we need to click on enter. This will execute Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, which is the local host and the port, unless configured differently. Now we need to copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. So I'm copying the link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. Here we need to paste the link and then click on enter. This is the web page of the project, which is displayed in the browser. And this web page is built by using the Flask framework. Here we can see a sign up link. First, we need to click on that for signing up. If you are new users, we need to sign up and fill in all these details. I have already signed in, I have registered, so we will directly log in. Here we need to provide our username and the password. So I'm giving my username and the password to login. And now we need to click on login. Here we can see a choose file button. We need to click on that for uploading load images, which are the UAV images. So I'm clicking on choose file button. From the folder, I'm selecting the first load image. Now click on open. Here we can see that image has been loaded. Now we need to click on upload to upload the image. Here we can see that a damage has been detected on the road and it has drawn bounding box around it and it has named it as potholes and it has given a probability score for the detection. Probability score is a score which represents how likely the bounding box contains an object. Now we will try giving the other image. Click on back arrow. Now click on choose file. This time we will select this image. Click on open and now we need to click on upload. Here we can see that Two damages, which are two potholes, have been detected and it has drawn bounding box around it with the probability score. Now click on back arrow to upload one more image. Click on choose file. This time we will upload this image. Click on open and now click on upload. Here we can see that multiple potholes have been detected and it has drawn bounding box around it with the probability score. Click on back arrow. Click on sign out. In this way, we upload. If we upload the UAV images to the system, then the system will detect whether damage is detected or not. Conclusion of the project. The project successfully implements an automated system using UAV images and advanced deep learning, showcasing practicality and viability. Leveraging YOLO algorithms improves the efficiency and accuracy of road damage detection, especially with the real-time capabilities of YOLO v7. Evaluation of model provides valuable insights into their performance for object detection, aiding in algorithm selection. Integration with Flask and SQLite creates a user-friendly interface for image input, pre-processing and real-time detection, offering a practical solution for road damage assessment. The project benefits government authorities, road agencies, and maintenance companies by providing an efficient automated system for timely road damage detection, leading to improved infrastructure maintenance and safer roads for drivers and vehicle owners. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.